talking with Kim from Design Maze, which is one of our favorite blogs. So you're going to want to check that out. Okay. Great. What do you want to know, Tim? Well, now I want to know that you guys are the most compatible design duels on TV, as far as I'm concerned. Are there moments that you guys don't see eye to eyes, and uh, who usually get the last laugh? You know what, for sure, we definitely disagree from time to time, but we wouldn't have had this incredible 10-year relationship if we didn't mostly agree. So certainly we share the same point of view on, on most things, but when we do disagree, um, the great thing about our relationship, I would say, is that we not, neither one of us is immovable on anything. And the wonderful thing about design is that there's no one correct answer to every single problem. So you can extrapolate what works for both of you. One of us will acquiesce, the other will acquiesce, but in general, Sarah wins. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works now. Now, now, what I was going to say is <laughs> um, that the good thing is in design you usually have the opportunity to step back and think about it mm -hmm. and consider the options and consider what all of your choices are and then there's, you know, there is never one right answer. We wholeheartedly believe and I think that we come from a fundamental perspective where we have a similar outlook yeah. and similar values. We, you know, left our own devices, each of us would approach that slightly differently. But I think the mix that we bring and, and part of the magic of the two of us being together as a team on camera is that so many, so many people have a sounding board in their life, whether it's a partner, a husband, a wife, a friend, a sister, you know, you name it. Lots of people have that kind of uh, someone else to answer to or someone else that they rely on. That's so dynamic. what we do is we bring that dynamic forward and it allows us to share it and, and I think and people see that experience of sort of like, oh yeah, like <laughs> so and so would be just like her or just like him. And yeah. it's never about um, it's never about one of us being right or I was gonna say right it's wrong. never about winning. Yeah. It's about it's about trying to find the right solution for that problem. And every problem has a different set of um, fundamentals, and each decision you make leads you in a different direction. The main thing to know about design is you don't go anywhere until you've committed to something. Yeah. So, right? So first, the first step is you have to commit to something, and once you've committed to that one thing, a wheel is set in motion, and then it's a domino effect of a lot more decisions. And okay. so, you know, I feel like in certain situations, people get locked mm -hmm. into who's right, who's right, you know, make about one decision. And so we kind of take a don't sweat the small stuff approach, which is like, <laughs> that decision is the least your worries. It's all the next ones that are going to come after. So try and, try and have fun with it. That's, a, that's definitely the main thing that galvanizes us, is that we believe that this process should be, should be fun. And we have fun doing it. It's not national security. You know, it's decorating. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah. It should be fun. But the other thing is, it's communication. So I think that the, the takeaway is whether you're communicating with your significant other, a friend, or a client, mm -hmm. uh, or somebody who's working with you, you should never be afraid to share your voice. And I think that that, you know, whether you call it sparring, disagreement, whatever it is that happens between the two, that is real life. And open dialogue and open communication is what leads to better projects yeah. and better end results. We're more discourse than discord, put it that way. <laughs> yes.